Hello, we are in November. It is the 9th of November. I'm pretty sure I have not started this monthly vlog because I'm doing really bad at vlogging again. So we'll get over that. Um, I have got my October adult box that I want to unbox. I've had it for maybe about a week or a week or two. Um, I've just not got around to filming a proper unboxing for it and because it's just like a book, book on its own I don't think it's as important. I think I know what the book is so I'm just going to open it up. Apparently I can't open the box and share with what it is. So this is the spoiler card. I am not spoiling myself before I see the book but we are getting dystopia and I know there's one book that's coming out this month. I'm not really excited for this at all. I don't I don't think it's fantasy. I do not agree with the fact that they've put dystopian in. Um, personally, I think dystopia is science fiction at most. Um, yeah, definitely not fantasy for me, so I'm a little bit disappointed. So first things first, I've opened it. There is no like sprayed edges. This is a really thin book as well. Um, so I'm not gonna show fully, but like that. There's about 300 pages of that for this book. Which to say <laughs> this has cost me £24, I'm really not impressed with. Just first thoughts. Oh, upside down, the wrong way around. But I was right, it is Veronica Roth's poster girl. Um, so Veronica Roth was the really big YA dystopian author from like the early 2010s. Um, I recently read Divergent. <laughs> I have not done a wrap up for it because it was during my missing months of not uh, filming anything. This is her most recent book, it is a adult dystopian. Um, it did sound interesting. There's a um, oh, there is some stencil. It's just this side. Ooh, need to move this box somewhere. So there's a stenciling on the edge there. Um, the inside's pretty cool. There's like a map on the front. Uh, I like the design on the sort of edges of the dust jacket. Nothing underneath the dust jacket, which I'm not bothered about. This is the naked cover, so what's right is right, and then the, I always do this upside down. Which way is right? That way. <laughs> uh, and then the end pages on the end, it's the same map sort of system. It looks like an eye. Oh, it might be an eye. It might actually be an eye rather than a map. Which is pretty nice, to be fair. Uh, but it's the same on both. So why am I not impressed with this? <laughs> Mainly, this is a dystopian, it's not fantasy. When I signed up for the adult fantasy subscription box, I was expecting sort of like high, epic fantasy. I would even take urban fantasy, but so far it's all been very contemporary based. Um, I, I wouldn't even call most of them urban fantasy. Um, and it's just a little bit disappointing at the books that we've been getting. So I really want November's book because <laughs> I spoiled myself for what I think it might be and I've really wanted to read that book for a while. So um, I'm gonna keep November's, I'm probably gonna keep December's, but I'm gonna cancel it at the end of the year just because I'm getting these books, I'm not reading them, I'm not interested in them. I probably will read this one, but I don't think I'll keep it. Um, I just, I like dystopia, but it's just not like the main thing for me. I just wanna do a quick update before I have to go because I've got a meeting to go to after this. I'm currently like at the very end of my lunch break. Um, so I've been trying to do nano this month and I've been doing really bad. I think I'm on about three and a half thousand words. And if I'm right, wait a minute, I wrote it down. I should be on <laughs> 15,000 words by the end of today. I don't think I'll be writing 12,000 words. Um, I'm going to aim to try and get to 5,000. So I'm still 10,000 behind, but it will be a nice big jump up. According to Scrivener, I need to read, read write 2,100 words a day to get to 50,000 before the end of the month. So <laughs> let's see how well I can do. I just wanted to do a quick update and I'm going to have to go now. So this is a quick wrap up and also things, but yeah, I will speak to you all later on in the month. Bye. Oh wow, a 
look more like a cold demon gremlin thing than I thought I did. I might have to remove these headphones because I'm looking at a very, uh, cozy. That's a little bit better. I really need to um, stop putting my phone in its holder because I'm gonna get a really bad backache. But I just wanted to come on. It is November the 22nd. It is my uncle's birthday. Tomorrow is his birthday. And it is cold enough to finally bust out the writing gloves again. Um, I can't remember if they warm my hands up much, but I know they've helped at least somewhat. And I'm also snuggled up in book box blankets to keep warm because <sighs> winter is coming, people. Um, I've not updated as much in November as I would like. I'd like to say it's because I've been writing, but that is a lie. <laughs> My nano is going terribly. I don't think I've hit 5,000 words yet. I think I'm not totally enamoured with this story. Which I mean, I know <laughs> when you're trying to make writing as a career, you can't just put things down because you don't love something. But at the same time, I don't feel like I am at the right level to write this. I don't know anything about science or biology or biology research to create vaccines. <laughs> I do have ideas <laughs> about what I want to do, but yeah, it's a lot of things that I don't know a lot about and I think it is gonna end up sounding crap. <laughs> I don't know if I just need to like write stuff down and at least have an, a more fleshed out outline more than anything. I think I just need to do some discovery writing with it. I've got to like chapter eight and a lot of it is just in like scene brackets that I've like cordoned off and gone right I kind of want this to happen here but I don't know how I want it to go uh, yeah there's like it's gonna be I say twist it's gonna get a bit twisty turny towards the end but like I don't think it is really it's just I don't know how that's gonna work I don't know if it's gonna alienate people reading it. I also have got this massive thing where I don't want to be known as a dystopian science fiction writer. That's not where my heart is. I love fantasy and I love like folklores and fairy tales and things like that. I think I'd prefer to be writing things in that vein. Um, my urban fantasy book I think, um, which is Protection, I think that would be more what I would be happy to be known as for a writer. So sometimes I feel like publishing Artifact 209 was a bad decision, but also it was great because I've learned so many things from it. <laughs> and now I'm just like overwhelmed with what I need to do and how I need to get this in the right place. <clears throat> so I am stuck with what I want to do with my writing and I don't know where it's going. Um, on positive news, my apprenticeship is going well. I keep getting good feedback. <laughs> seems a little patronising the way that the trainers feedback is coming but I think that's just because from me this apprenticeship is at a lower level than the degree I've got um, it's just in a different subject and discipline so the <laughs> the feedback I'm getting is like oh wow you're really good at analysing things I'm like I would hope so I have been analysing texts and films for years <laughs> historical events um, cultural traditions <laughs> so I kind of read it like it doesn't seem like the way that they've got this tailored is for people who've already got degrees <laughs> it seems like it is definitely more aimed at people who are coming into a workplace um, and like the apprenticeship and the workplace are conjoined rather than this has been my job for three years um, I'm just moving into a different area so I needed some more skills I needed to upskill myself a bit um, but yeah so, but that's going well, which is great. Um, Todd is currently dying. He has picked up some sort of illness. He's not been at work for two days. So I am currently trying to fend off any potential illnesses that may come my way. I have barely read. I think I finished one book all month and we're on the 22nd. So my plan is like partially to write and also just read. <laughs> like, do I sleep? Because I have so many books I wanna read and so many books I need to read. <sighs> I think I might start going through my fairy loop ones. I've got a few books out from the library, so I want to try and read them. But then when they're done, just read through fairy loop books because I don't think I'm gonna enjoy some of them. So if the ones I don't enjoy, other people would enjoy, I would rather get them off my shelves and into the shelves of someone who would actually appreciate having them. There are a few that I feel that way about, but I don't want to get rid of anything without having read it because maybe it will change my mind. <laughs> I think the fairy loop books are the ones that are going to be more hit and miss. If anything, if I give any of them three stars, I think I'm going to get rid of it. 
this will be my new thing, new couch down so I don't forget. <laughs> three stars and it's gone because three star books, when I've picked it, I normally like, oh they're alright, but three star book for what I've been given and someone else might give it a four or a five, probably better off not being on the shelves. But uh, that is now my lunch done for today, so I am going to continue with my work and hopefully do something productive with my evening and it's probably going to be social media. I'll try not to. Oh, <clears throat> before I go, I have also signed up for Hive. It's a bit buggy at the moment but apparently we've only got two devs working on it and as a software developer myself I am impressed with the products they have got in place with only two devs. Um, I'm under the same name as I am on Twitter, so at Lola Long. I was thinking of revamping because I am thinking of renaming this channel um, and kind of like splitting out and having the Lola Long accounts as my personal accounts again <laughs> because I do like to just post up my own things, but I have not decided on what I want to do with the name yet. So I've kind of just left that where it is. But yeah, the plan is to change up the name of the channel and then my socials. And then, but it's probably going to be getting new social media for the other ones to private because they're then they can just have like these are things for my holidays <laughs> and these are things uh, for what I'm doing rather than things that are more public facing. Yeah, so that is currently the ideas I've got, and I just wanted to share them with you. Mm -hmm.